Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action as usual here on the channel. Now to kick things off tomorrow we go to air for the 2.35 with a horse called Inada, 9-4 bookmakers at the moment, trained by Nicky Richards who's yard in really good form at the moment, operating at a 29% strike rate. Brian Hughes who often rides out for this stable is booked for the jockey booking tomorrow, so that's a good plus there. Now this horse is going to be dropping back down in trip tomorrow for its chase debut, back to 2 miles and I think that's definitely a good move it's a previous course winner at air as well so he definitely should be suited by going this way around as well now finished third at market raisin last time behind a horse called chase and charlie who ran a respectable race last time out at hereford to finish in third place over hurdles so i just thought tomorrow amada with the yard going in really good form going back to a course it likes and with like we already mentioned the stable are doing really well this horse has got to go really close in my opinion there so that's going to be the first tip to get us uh, hopefully on a roll tomorrow. We then go to the free tenner air, and I thought Bold Emperor had a massive chance here. Four to one bookmakers at the moment, trained by John McConnell, who's an Irish trainer, but often sends runners over to air. Sean Byrne as well, who often rides some of his horses when he brings them over, is put for the ride. Now, I thought this horse could go really well tomorrow if it's mark off 112. Now, if you go back to a maiden hurdle um, uh, over a year ago, um, back at Limerick. This horse actually beat a horse called uh, Aaron Ladd, who's now with uh, Dr. Richard Newland. Now, Dr. Richard Newland has got this horse's handicap mark, Aaron Ladd, now up to 140. And our selection tomorrow, Bold Emperor, beat that horse quite comprehensively that day. And you've got to think off a mark of 112, with it being lightly raced by Galileo as well, that sexy flat pedigree, could go really close tomorrow. So for me, I thought that one should be there or thereabouts. We then go to the 345 air with a horse called Grace Meadow, 4-1 bookmakers again at the moment. Trained again by the same trainer, John McConnell, who's bringing a couple of runners over tomorrow. Sean Byrne again is booked for the ride. But I thought this horse had a really interesting chance tomorrow. He's got a really good record in uh, bumpers, this trainer in Britain. He's three from five runners in the last... Um, five years so no qualms about his record in uh, British bumpers and he should go really close in my opinion tomorrow if you look at the pedigree it's been bred more for the flat but does have a couple of jumps relatives was uh, related to a good horse called uh, Houston Dymano and I think if it can maybe take off like it's a relative there it could go really close tomorrow and I thought at four to one that wasn't a bad price to be taken there and I could definitely see this one going really well getting weight as well from some of its rivals who have to carry penalties we then go to the 545 at Newcastle for our final selection called Sparkle in His Eye and he's a four to one shot but maker at the moment trained by William Haggis an eye cashing trainer that always takes the eye in these kind of races three uh, out of six three um, winners from six uh, uh, horses sent out in the last fortnight so he's operating at a 50% strike rate Joe Fanning is booked for the ride and he's going to be riding in the colours tomorrow of the Oppenheimer group now Mr Anthony Hopper Oppenheim, I should say, um, was uh, the owner of Golden Horn, and this horse is very closely associated uh, with Golden Horn and its uh, pedigree, not too far uh, distantly related. And I just thought, with those connections tomorrow, in those colours, and with it being related to some good horses with Golden Horn, the Ark winner, this horse tomorrow could be one that uh, William Haggis has placed very well here. But I see the stars as well, who he's done really well with this uh, sire. William Haggis has he's had the likes of obviously Sea of Glass and I just thought tomorrow sparkling in his eye with those powerful connections at 4-1 to one, if he's strong in the market tomorrow he could definitely be a major player and he could maybe be a good horse maybe later on in the season so it's going to be interesting to see what he does tomorrow but I thought 4-1 to one, I thought he could definitely be worth a punt especially with the yard in really good form so there are going to be the tips for tomorrow's horse race in action if you haven't done so already please hit the subscribe button for more tips on my uh, YouTube channel here at Lucky Loads 15 you can also follow me on Twitter as well I'm at Lucky Loads 15 and that's all i got to say, so please come responsibly. Hopefully we can have some money tomorrow, and we'll be seeing you soon.